few on secondary uh, residential and, and student housing. Um, what we see is that a lot of investors push into secondary, even tertiary locations. I mean, we have about uh, 25 uh, top university cities in Germany, about 250,000 uh, inhabitants. Um, but people even push uh, further into smaller cities. Uh, we have seen, you know, new developments in, in Essen or, or Dortmund. Um, so, you know, we can really see that after Brexit, more and more uh, UK investors are going into these secondary cities uh, in Germany. I mean, we have seen that after Brexit, uh, there were more interest from um, UK students actually in Germany. I mean, I don't think uh, it's the, the trend is long enough to, to, to sort of uh, interpret that, but uh, what we are seeing more and more international students um, want to come to Germany. There is no tuition fee. There's a very high quality of uh, education, so more and more international students are coming to Germany. Um, at the moment, it's about two-thirds of domestic students, one-third of international students. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the education was pushed about a decade ago by Mrs. Merkel uh, as, as a, a prime uh, trend in Germany. So now more and more students, uh, student numbers are growing. Uh, we don't have enough housing for students. Um, so the sort of product of purpose-built student housing is a new one in Germany and it's sort of developing in the last seven years and will do so, I think, over the next sort of 10, 15 years as it did in the UK. Uh, I think there's differences between the markets, um, but you know, the, the German market is traditionally more price sensitive in terms of rents. Um, but we see you know, more and more investors from the US, from the UK being interested in that market.